Thistle trying to scramble the ball clear, but only to Steve Pittman, whose first-time effort brought Craig Nelson into early action. By contrast, Dundee's new French keeper, Michel Pagot, had a fairly quiet opening and had only to watch as Callum Milne's finish to an enterprising move sailed over the top. With 25 minutes gone, Thistle's Bobby Barnes was booked for kicking the ball away. It seemed a reasonably innocuous offence, but the repercussions were to prove significant. An Alex Taylor free kick gave Willie Jimison a chance, but his header flew past, much to the defender's annoyance. Dundee were causing problems in the Thistle box. Just when it seemed the pressure had eased, the Jags found themselves in deeper trouble when a challenge by Bobby Barnes felled Neil McCann and had referee Clark reaching instantly for his cards. A second yellow, and then the inevitable red meant the end of the game for Barnes. No goals in the first half, but McCann threatened to prize open the Thistle defence early in the second. Craig Nelson, though, came to the Jags' rescue. Dundee with the extra man were in charge now. Stephen Frail homes in on goal, but a timely tackle by Willie Jimison cleared the danger. Good timing in the tackle from him. Neil McCann had established himself as the star of the show. Once again, he set off down the left. He got the better of Tom Smith and crossed for George Shaw to score what proved to be the winner against his old club. 1-0 Dundee.